Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna explain how we plan to get rid of 465 items in 30 days. All right, so if this is your first time tuning in to Living With Less, we are a channel about our lifestyle and with tips on how to save the planet and your wallet. So let's get into how the heck we're planning to get rid of, not exactly rid, but get rid of 465 items in 30 days. So how did this idea come about? So for those of you who don't know us, um, I would not classify us as extreme minimalist, minimalist or anything. No, we have our ninja family um, right there. <laughs> we are very avid watchers of documentaries. Um, so when we were channel surfing on Netflix the other day and saw a new documentary by the minimalists called Less Is Now, um, we checked it out. And to be honest, we didn't love the documentary, no. um, but there were a few cool <laughs> tidbits inside it that we kind of took away from it. Yeah. All right, so our two takeaways from this mini doc that I wasn't in love with, honestly, if you're thinking about watching it, I would recommend probably like the last 10 minutes because that's where the takeaways are. We'll, so we'll do a pretty good recap here so you don't- Yeah, exactly. It. So the first major takeaway is this term intentional living. Uh, when we heard this, I, I've actually like never heard this before. Um, I've heard of like, I don't know, having like every, every little item has a purpose and that's kind of the purpose of intentional living. But I really love that because I don't know, this documentary definitely portrayed that well. Um, perhaps maybe in an extremist uh, sense, because like I said, it's really hard to be minimalist. One fact that this documentary pointed out is that the average American household has over 300,000 items. That that was crazy <laughs> yeah. in itself. Yeah, it didn't um, it didn't classify exactly what it counts as an item. So is it like if you have a pair of shoes, is that one or two items? We didn't really know. We kind of defined it as as we saw suit, um, but still a pretty crazy number when you think about it. Yeah. So the first takeaway is definitely intentional living. So pretty much obviously like everything that you have, each item has a purpose and adds value to your life. So that can be as simple as your favorite pair of socks. You know, if you have like your Nike ankle high socks that you absolutely must have and you love, go ahead and keep them. But like this guy probably had like six pairs of socks with holes in them. I was and gonna say that that was really a specific example. <laughs> I feel like shots are thrown. So if you have six <laughs> pairs with holes in them, just get rid of them. You don't need them. So intentional living, uh, definitely a broad topic, but that was definitely like an awesome thing to reflect on. So that then brings us to our second point. So with intentional living, you identify those items that you really want and need. But the second point here is this hashtag less is now challenge. Um, so the less is now challenge is you do it for, it's a 30 day challenge and every day you have to get rid of at least one or more items depending on the day. So day one, you have to get rid of one thing and the item has to be gone by midnight and that's really the rules. And then as day two, day three, day four go on, you have to get rid of two, three, and four items. So day 30, yeah. 30 items. So it ramps up pretty quickly in the beginning. I'd say it was like pretty easy to get rid of a few things. Um, we are on day 10 right now, so yeah. we've gone, we, I don't know how many things we've gotten rid of. Yeah, but um, probably like 40 items or so. Um, so day 10, it's been, it's been so easy, guys. Like we, and like, I would say that we thought we were intentional living before and, and we were shocked how much junk we would just find around our place. So day 10, it's been really, I mean, guys, if you start this challenge day one, you're going to be so bored because you're going to find one thing within literally like four minutes yeah. and you're just going to be like, well, I want to get more. I want, I want to start adding to it. So what we did is we have our lovely, we love this whiteboard. We got this whiteboard from the Dollar Tree guys. And so we put anything that we're doing on it. So for this month, we drew up a little one through 30 uh, calendar and we mark out uh, the day when the day's over when we got rid of the item. Uh, we also put a mark because the purpose is not to throw away stuff here. It's not being wasteful. So this really ties in with how to live sustainably. So the goal is to find a way to donate, recycle, or resell your items. So for that purpose, we have a tally that says total um, on our whiteboard. 
and that amount shows how much money we've made from selling these items that literally we weren't using they were just collecting dust so it's really cool to see okay we have this many less items and this much more money. Yeah, I think I think the the money aspect is a pretty cool add-on, which they did not talk about in the, in the documentary. Um, but really, the purpose of getting rid of stuff and like if you can make a couple hundred bucks in the process, like that's a, a, a nice little cherry on top. It's a win-win. And the way that we've been going about it, because we thought the goal was a bit uh, unrealistic for the way that we live, to have that item gone by midnight, because we didn't want to make a trip, say, to like. Uh, the animal shelter, because we have a lot of Lego stuff, um, or uh, Salvation Army every single day. Um, so what we do is we kind of fill up the back of the trunk of our car with items, and we have all those items posted for sale. Um, and so pretty much at the end of the week, then we take our car, Salvation Army, so once a week we're doing a drop off. So that gives us a week to sell those items, because that's really our goal. We would love to sell an item, um, unless, with the dog stuff, we're actually just giving it all away. Um, we rescued animals, so we feel really, <laughs> we feel really good about that. Um, but we do have a lot of good stuff too that we don't even use. So there's definitely things of value. It's not like we're just getting rid of junk. And that's the hard thing to like pull away from. Like you had, I don't know, 12 like designer ties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where all these ties came from, but ties, as as far as I'm concerned, are like collector's items. Like everyone has too many. Like you never you never wear more than one at once. Um, so Max, like I just kept two ties, for example, and got rid of the other like six. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's been so far a really good process, but right now, like we said, we're on day ten. So for you, uh, you, you oh, could man. say that we're like a third of the way through the challenge, but really in terms of total items and totality, um, we're about yeah, 10%. We're, we're not even close. So yeah. we're going to see how the rest of the 20 days goes. No promises that we're, we're going to make it the whole way because we do live in an RV and we probably already have fewer items than most. Uh, but the point is to just do our best and really just keep the products and items in our house that we do use. Yeah. And with that also being said is that if you decide to take on this challenge, don't just get rid of items for the sake of meeting the number criteria. Because if you have something that you really value or something that you really love, and you're like, man, I use this every day, but do I need it? If you use it every day, you need it. <laughs> so definitely like just check in with yourself. So we kind of promised to each other, like we're gonna take on this challenge as best as we can. Mm -hmm. If we find that we can't meet, we can't find items, we run out and everything we have has value to us, that's the goal. That's the goal to find. Um, so yeah, miss anything else? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll keep you guys posted because as we mentioned, we're on day 10 out of 30. So we'll keep it posted on this channel, how we progress through this challenge. Maybe we'll do like a final tally of how much money we made, how many items, something like that, like a wrap up video. Um, but I think that that's it for the challenge. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, if you decide to take on the challenge, let us know down in the comments below. We're gonna make a complete review video on day 30 of how we've done, and we would love to see how we stack up against you guys. So let's do this thing together. Let's try to live intentionally together because the average American has so has so much junk. Too much. It's too, too, much, too much junk, man. Like even us included. So we completely acknowledge that. We want to live better. We want to live more sustainably and help out others and our wallets in the process. So why not do it? So guys, hashtag less is now challenge. Let us know how you do. Thank you for tuning in with Little Less. Please subscribe and support us. We would love it. Hit the subscribe button down below and post notifications on if you'd love to see more of our faces. We'll see you guys.